So this video is going to have quite a bit of information, so I'm going to break it down into chapters so you can go through the progress bar to um, find whatever part, whatever part you need. So I'm going to first talk about what it is, and then I'm going to go with a composite node, and then I'll give you a visual demonstration of what those values mean. And then I'm going to show you how to get the values from composite to number so you can put it onto a dial. And then I'm going to show you how you can put it onto a vehicle and use it. So to start off, the astronomy sensor is a sensor that gives you your position relative to an imaginary line between the Earth and the Moon. This line is called the trajectory. If we look at the composite node, we can see that there are three different channels. The first is the X position, which gives us our X position from negative 1 to 1. Next is the Y position from 0 being Earth to 1 being Moon. And finally is Z from negative 1 to 1 as well. So, if you look on the left, you can see that there is the normal plane. There's the X and Y. This is the same as the Stormworks map, right? You, if you set a waypoint, you'll have an X and Y. The GPS will give you an X and Y. But what if you want to add on another dimension? Usually you just add on another line and you'll call that Z. But since the devs want Y to be the vertical, which does seem a little more intuitive, they just switched it around. So now, on your map, Positive Z would be north, negative Z would be south, and X would stay the same as east and west. Now, it says Y being 0 is the Earth, so if you're at Y equals 0, you're at Earth. And Y being 1 is the Moon, so Y equals 1 is at the Moon. If you're at Y equals 0 0.5, you're going to be right in between the Earth and the Moon. Now, imagine you were standing right here at negative X something, positive Y something, right there and you started climbing up a staircase. Your position right here would stay the same, but your vertical would continue to increase. So that's how the X and Y and, so sorry, the X, Z and Y are all working together. The X and Z give you just your position like along the Earth's surface and Y is your distance from the Earth to the moon. Hopefully that made any sense. If there's any questions, then please ask. Next, I'm going to go over how to get those values. So in the top right, there's a button called the microcontroller editor. You want to click on that. Now, you'll see that you can have all your properties, you can draw a symbol, but what we want is the logic. But first, I'm going to name it something like uh, Astro thing, right? Um, now, I'm going to copy and paste that as well so I can find it later. But I'm going to go to logic, click the plus four times, because I need three things. The first is going to be a composite. This is an input so that you can get the data from the astronomy sensor. The rest you, you're going to set to number and then you're going to set them to output as well. Now, I'm going to name this one X because I want this to give me my X value. This is going to be my Y because I want this to give me my Y value. And this is going to be Z which is going to give me my Z value. Now, I'm just going to spread them out, so I like having the order X, Y, Z just because it, it, you know, it seems right. And what I want to do is hit tab or uh, this little button down here, and I'm gonna, I want to type in read, and it'll give me these two. These aren't on and off signals though, these are read signals, or sorry, number signals, so I want to grab the composite read number, and I'll put down three of them. Now, I want to hold control and click on this little button so I can connect to all three at once. And then I'll just connect these here. But we're not quite done yet. We know that X is on channel 1, so this one's fine. You can see it says channel 1. Y, though, is on channel 2, so I want to click on it and set it to channel 2. Lastly, Z is on channel 3, so I want to click on it and set it to channel 3. And now, you just need to save it as whatever. Properties is what you're going to search in the search bar. So if I name it, whatever I name it here is going to be what I have to use to find it. So now, if I type in astro thing, I should see it right here, and I'm just going to put it down. And then now what I want to do is grab my three dials to represent my X position, uh, my Y position, and my Z position. So I'm going to name those respectively, X, Y, and Z. And then I just need to connect everything up. So I'm going to start with the composite from here to here. 
and then I just need to connect them to whatever. So X goes to X, Y goes to Y, and Z goes to C. C, Z. And then I'm gonna save this as Apple, just because just why not? Now, if we spawn that in, we can take a look and we should have some sort of value unless you're at zero, zero, and I'll explain that in a second. So, where is it? There it is. If we look, our X does have some value. The Y is at zero, that's what we expect. And the Z is going to be negative 0.14 for this location at least. It might be something different. If I go to the map though, you can see why the X and Z are different. Zero, zero is at this little island right here in the center of the map. But we know that this is X right here. This is Y right here. So if we're at positive X in some direction, because we're right here, so go from zero, zero, positive. And then the Z is going to, it, it's negative because we're down here from zero, zero. So again, positive X, negative Z. That's what that means. And then obviously Y would change if I were to raise it really high in the air, but I, I'll do that in a second. So that's how that works. Now I just need to put it onto a vehicle so I can show you how you actually use it. Here I've built a rudimentary rocket. This rocket is just to demonstrate the way the values will change. So if I hop into the spacesuit and then, oops, that's the wrong button. And then I go up into the seat, I'm gonna launch. And there's a couple things I want you to notice. One is that this rocket is a little top heavy so it kind of starts falling that way. That way right now you can see my character or my symbol on the map is, it's like, it's like south-ish. So you'll see the X will be going negative because I'm sort of moving this way. So yeah, the X will start going negative, the Z will start going negative, but the Y will be increasing because I'm going up towards the moon. So throttle up and then launch. So yeah, you can see I'm starting to tilt towards that direction. Actually, it looks like I'm going more this way. But it should still apply. So you can see the Y is going upwards now. If I hold down this button, you can see that it is increasing. Um, this number is getting smaller, and this number is also getting smaller. So the reason, again, is because you can see I'm moving in this direction, which is negative X and negative Z. And I'm going upwards into the sky to increase the Y value. So that's how you can expect the numbers to change. If you don't believe me, then go ahead and put the sensors on a boat and then you can see for yourself it's easier to change direction that way. So yeah, that's how you use the sensor to navigate through space. Alright, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please ask them. Um, if enough people ask the same question, then I will make a follow-up video explaining it better. Um, and yeah, I'm planning on making more videos in the future. One's going to be about RCS most likely, another is going to be about space travel in general. So there's a lot that is planned ahead. So if there's anything you want to see, then tell me now. That would probably be the best time. Alright, so good luck on getting to the moon.